Good day, ladies and gentlemen. All right, for this video, I would like to make this as a um, response, sort of a response to one of my fellow subscribers and for others who are interested in learning this uh, this language, Yoruba. So I'm going to um, introduce these, these two courses. Now, I remember making a series on colloquial. Showed you guys all my colloquial courses, and this one, this course was part of it. So, um, I know that I just want to make a, a separate, a separate resource video for these two languages here, or for this, for this language, for these two courses. So, um, you know who you are. You sent me a message. You asked me about some Yoruba resources here, uh, some recommendations, and um, I will definitely recommend these these two courses. Now, if you don't want to get both courses, I will say get this one. Now, this is Hippocrane course. This is a really good course, but um, from my experience, I really enjoy this course better. The layout is pretty much the same. You have your dialogues and you have your grammar section, culture notes, but it's just, I don't know, I just, I like this course better. So, um, you can start off with a colloquial course and then later on get this Hippocrane course. Well, perhaps you may not even be, you, you may not even need to get this course if you complete this course. Because they, they will both take you to um, pretty much the same level. So, yeah, um, let me show you what you have here. Basically, this is this is the first chapter. So, you have your dialogue. You have your dialogue here. And as you can see, this is the Yoruba. And then this is the English. Okay. And then you have vocabulary section here. Then some language points on this side. They show examples, which is very important. And then they get into grammar. Subject pronouns, honorific forms. So this is a really good course. I would highly, I would highly, highly, highly recommend this to anyone who is interested in learning Yoruba. And also, there's an FSI course you can actually download it for free on the government website. Um, like I've said before, FSI, I really do like FSI, but I wouldn't really use it as a beginner. And um, I don't know, I just it's just the way I like to learn things. I wouldn't really recommend FSI for a beginner. I would recommend FSI to someone who has a, a foundation in language and they want to just go through the course as just a, you know as a sweep. You know, but if you if you go in it as a beginner, it may get boring to you. So I would recommend getting a course like um, you know you get you get a hip, this Hippocrane course or get this colloquial course, and it should be um, that should get you good, get you up to at least an intermediate level, and um, then you can if you want to go back and try uh, FSI, then you know give it a shot. But like I said, in my experience, um, I've been using FSI. Um, I use the lady for Cantonese and um, Swahili, and the re only reason why I enjoy going through it is because I have a foundation in those two languages. So it's I'm not like a complete beginner. So, yep, that's it for these two resources for Yodobot. I will also post links to certain websites where they have a lot of information on on the Yodobot language. They have forums where you can meet natives. I will post the links to those sites. Um, also, the keyboard. I will. Um, I'm going to make a separate video using Camtasia and go through this keyboard thing and show you how you can type the Yoruba letters. Now it's already installed in Windows, but there are some letters that are missing, so I use like another program. I'm going to show you that here in the in a second. So that's it for this video. If you have any other questions concerning Yoruba or any other language resource or whatever, just let me know, and um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for viewing and uh, look forward to any comments. Okay, for the second part of the video, I would like to show you the um, Yoruba keyboard. Now, I have it installed for Windows. Let's see, I think I still have it here. Yoruba, yeah, I still have it installed here. The only thing is uh, I noticed that there are some letters missing, or I should say some accents, some accents missing. For this here so um, I'm like using a different program to type in oh that's a switch 
I'm using a different program to type in uh, Yoruba. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't even really use this here since they're missing some letters. But anyway, um, if you have Windows, you can go to like Control Panel and install any language there. So you would just go to Control Panel. Um, I'm not sure if you're interested in typing, but if you are, I'll walk you through it. Or actually, I made a. You know what? I'm going to post a video. I made a video about that already, so I'll just post it as a response to this video. But um, as far as the um, like typing Yodelba, I'm using this program. It's through Facebook. You have to go to Facebook and you type in Yodelba keyboard, or it'll pop up. If it doesn't pop, it just type in Yodelba keyboard. And it will bring you to the, this page. Of course, like the page because it's very appreciative that they they've come up with this program. Then um, once you get here, what you want to do is go to app. Okay, you go to app, and here you, here it is. And the keyboard is here. So whatever you type, you, you know, it's going to recognize this keyboard. So you don't have to go down here and you know. Um, click any of the letters just use your keyboard and this is what I use to type in Yodoba and then after I do that like for example this here I just kind of copy and paste it I copy and paste this onto wherever YouTube or wherever it is I need to uh, copy it to so the reason why like I said the reason why I'm using this program is because they don't have like the Windows version is missing letters and I tried to find a different program and I couldn't. So I decided to come here and use this. Um, this was recommended by someone. And um, I've been using this ever since. So I don't know. I don't I don't really feel comfortable with like, you know, using this. If, to me, it feels like it's cheating a little bit because I have copy and paste. But I don't really have a choice for Yodoba because of, because of the reason I just explained. So... I don't really believe in typing in regular English without the accent marks. You notice a lot of people from Nigeria do that. Um, I don't like doing that. I like to get the, you know, type it correctly. So um, if you're interested uh, in typing, just like I said, go to go to Facebook. If you have that type in Yodoba keyboard and it'll bring you here. And then um, you just click on the app and see, as you can see here, you can send as email publish to your excuse me, uh, publish to your Facebook wall. Publish to Facebook page, publish to friends wall, or invite your friends. So, and even if you don't do that, like I said, when you type it out here, you can just copy and paste it, and then you know go paste it where it, wherever you want to paste it to. So that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to show you that, and oh, also, I want to post the links to these websites. These are some uh, Nigerian websites. You can, you, you can meet some native speakers of Yoruba, Igbo, or Ausa. There's a forum. And then Yoruba Online, they have some um, introduction to like pronunciation, Yoruba grammar. I haven't been here for a while, but I, this I actually got this from one of the vi order videos I made. The quality, I noticed that the quality of that video wasn't really that good. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and post this. Uh, I'm going to um, copy the links to the description area. And um, if you have any questions, anyone has, has any questions, just let me know. I'm here, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for viewing.